Hey folks, welcome to another Fishing with Johnny Johnson episode. Let me tell you, we got a great show for you today. It's another head-to-head -head competition. Matt Schur in the other boat, me in the other. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're going to a brand new lake today called Hidden Lake. Richard, <laughs> you got the whole family here? Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about this lake and introduce us to your family because I know Dylan here is gonna be doing our weigh-in today. But go ahead and introduce the family here and tell us about this lake a little bit. So this is my wife, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. And uh, you guys have met Dylan. Uh, Dylan's a heck of an up-and-coming uh, fisherman. He's got quite a few bass uh, that he's gotten out of here. Uh, the lake is um, primarily a groundwater-fed lake. Uh, it is. Um, it was originally dug as part of a sand and gravel operation, hmm. and uh, we bought the lake a, a couple of years ago and started a massive uh, environmental remediation and habitat construction uh, project, um, getting it prepared for uh, what our dreams are, which is to make it into a trophy bass fishing lake. And That's awesome. What so, kind of what kind of other fish did you actually put in here? So um, we've stocked uh, largemouth bass in here, um, fathead minnow and uh, uh, rosy shiners, rosies in here as well. And there's um, some big bass, you said. And some very large bass, and we've put uh, some crappie in here and uh, some catfish as well. But you said there's big bass in here, right? Yeah. Jennifer, there's big bass in here? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna yeah, be the judge so. of that today, <laughs> so I just yeah. wanna know, you well, know? <laughs> well, good luck, you know. <laughs> I better catch a big fish today. Let's meet our anglers now. Jason Christie, fishing for Yellow Tech, powering your adventures. Andrew Napoleon, fishing for A&M Graphics. All right, Jason, Andrew, we're at Hidden Lake. We're gonna do the coin toss. Jason, you're gonna call it in the air. If you win, you get to pick one of us. If you lose, then Andrew gets to pick one of us. So here we go. <laughs> I, I have a choice. Call it in the air, buddy. <laughs> Edge. It is tails. Tails it is. Let's take my partner. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do it, man. All right, guys. Do it. Well, Andrew won the coin toss, so I guess I get my old partner back here, and we'll see what we can't do. Let's go fishing. All righty, men. That's so where you guys going. Official go Lorraine's time, 7.31 a.m. See you at noon. I like the original Let's deal. Go fishing. The Heck yeah. I win, I get to double your rep price. Right up at the point over here, what he calls a bar area, there's water running in. And that water is actually warmer than this water. It is? And I don't know why, but. Well, it's because it's coming down that thin creek, probably. Yeah, so it's All a really, right. really thin creek, the water's warmer. And I can tell you this, when you cast, you want to throw your bait on the shore and drag it in. Oop, fish on. I'm coming. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, good fish. Here we go. Maybe. Bring him Probably in. Not. Bring him in. That's a start. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Great fish. All right. Third cast of the day. All Can't right. beat that. That's the way to start it, guys. Spinnerbait bass. That's the way Hidden to start Lake it. Hidden Lake style. Oh, man. Here at Hidden Lake in Buckeye, kind of out in the, out in the, middle, kind of nowhere. Out in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful lake, it's full of big fish. This is a solid fish, you see how healthy they are. But uh, today, we're the Yellow Tech team. I'm we here. are Team Yellow Tech. I'm here with Jason Christie. We have uh, Andy Napoleon and Johnny Johnson in the other boat, representing a and Graphics. But I'm gonna weigh this fish, put it in live well. Tell everybody about Yellow Tech and well, Yellow Tech is, is a really interesting product. Everybody I know has a GoPro, and everybody loves their GoPro camera. But they also say one thing: boy, I hate that GoPro battery. The GoPro battery is only good for about 45 minutes, and then you end up having a pocket full of batteries throughout the day. And then you pretty soon you figure out what battery is good and bad. The Yellow Tech Aqua Stick 53 inch takes care of that problem. By plugging the aqua stick into your anchor light socket, the anchor light socket powers the GoPro. And the real trick here is once you've got all day power, you put in a big SD card and you can fish for nine hours all day and set it and forget it. 
The Yolotech Aqua Stick has been a great tool for me uh, as a pro fisherman. I use it to uh, review tournament footage. How did I miss that fish? Sometimes in the, in the heat of a moment in a tournament, you, you get all spun out and you want to go back and see your mistakes. It's coaching film, if you were. For a hobbyist, what a great way to take the family out and have your son's first fish catch on video. That's a memory you'll have for the rest of your life. So that's why I, I use the, the Olatec Aqua Stick on every boat that I run, and tournaments, fun fishing, guide trips, whatever it might be, the, the Olatec Aqua Stick is a great, great tool. Awesome, nice fish. Thanks, let's keep going. What a great start, third cast. Here we go. I was, throwing a, I was throwing a Texas rig, and he catches that on his third cast, I think I'm gonna change. <laughs> <laughs> The E-chip from Persuader, huh? Yeah, it's got a knocker in it. It's got a, it's really cool. Well, notice that old Matt's not throwing any reaction. He's throwing just slow. No, he told me he's gonna drop shot all day. <laughs> he says they're biting on that drop shot. Got it, cut him. Woo, that's a big one too, baby. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> that's a monster, dude. Where's Matt when you need him now, Matty? That is a monster bass. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's a catfish. What is that? It's a catfish. Oh, Holy no. cow. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Are you kidding me right 80 pound now? catfish. <laughs> You're gonna get him in the boat or you wanna just try to unhook him? Oh, my God. I want my blade back. Oh, he's doing the catfish roll All on right. you. Right. Whoa. Oh my Get gosh. Get the net him. I want my bait back. Oh my gosh. Oh. Don't you look at the size of that thing? <laughs> On a spinner blade. We... Hey, did you bring the airbrush kit? <laughs> we'll make this thing look like a bass. Look at this fish. We'll release it. That's ever, the kind of catfish ever in this so place. Gently. That's the kind of catfish in this place. Watch. We're going to release it. We'll get it. Dude, you're swimming the wrong way. There you go. Come on. There we go. I thought you had a monster bass, boy. Jason and Christy, crazy. you don't know how lucky you are. That wasn't a bass. <laughs> we I was already had doing double enum. digits. Graphics wrap fish right there. Hey, that was exciting. It was exciting. Real quick, while we're thinking about it. After a beautiful big fish like that, even though it wasn't a bass, tell everybody about Anim Graphics wraps now. You know, I don't know how many years I've been running now with your show, but I can tell you it has sure made a huge difference. <laughs> We've grown from just a small little mom and pop, just my wife and I running everything, to having a handful of employees and We've been really blessed over the years. Things have been going good. We've expanded some of the things we can do. It's not just boat wraps. We do vehicle wraps. We do a lot of signs, banners, anything that has to do with large format printing. And of course, my wife, my beautiful wife, can do embroidery now. So if you need embroidery, we can take care of those things for you. You know, it's just been great working with everybody in the fishing community, working with you guys and it's Matt. It's been awesome. It's fun, you know, and it's not just about the work. You get to get out and meet people, the camaraderie that you have with everyone. I love it. It's been fantastic. And well, I couldn't ask job. for anything more. You know, being the first time to this lake for me anyway, it, uh, it's crazy how you have to think about picking a lake apart. It's not a big lake, so we're gonna be able to circle the whole thing. After we circle it, we'll have a good idea, a better idea of what we think might be going on. Right now, we're just kind of making the circle. We're actually following behind Matt and Jason right now, uh, <laughs> catching fish behind them. I don't know if they're catching fish in front of us, but, uh, you know, I'll pick apart a lake like this, we'll say a spinnerbait or something like that, something that moves kind of fast. He's, you know, Andrew's got a swim bait on. See what's kind of going on. Early in the morning, you can get away with that. Rattle trap early in the spring's good too. But this water temperature is 65 degrees. Yeah. That's good news for me. The bad news for me is the lake's not clear. So it's harder to find these beds. And uh, sometimes you gotta, you got to get these fish to react on that bait in that certain zone that they're in, and you'll miss them, you know, because they're, you know, they just won't, they're not feeding. They're, uh, they're protecting hitting, those they're protecting nests. The yeah. Nest. yeah. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You see how he called his shot on that? Hey, let's That's get a little bit. That's what we're looking bit, for. He called his shot. I just switched So let's up. get a little bit closer. <laughs> Boom. 
There it goes. Look at that fish. God. And I'm telling you guys, you know, it might look like a four pounder. I'm telling you, feel this fish. Feel how feel how chunky they are. Oh yeah, that is just that's a heavy, heavy, they're well fed, healthy bass. They're built like me, just muscular. And and Matt just strong. called the shot too. <laughs> My head, muscular and strong. And I'll tell you what, they're well fed here. And uh, I we just switched. I was fishing out. Uh oh, it's okay. I, get I was fishing out off the bank and uh, throwing a drop shot. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this thing. Huh? Wow. What is that? <laughs> this is what we came to this lake for, guys. We're at we're at Hidden Lake in Buckeye, Arizona. And you guys look it up. It's it's in the <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere and there's fish like this in there. I'm just gonna pull that line through. That was really weird. Look at that. <sighs> That's a five pounder, I think. Let's get him in the water. Number two. <sighs> All right. So what we were doing before with the drop shot and Jason following up behind me with the spinnerbait just wasn't working. And we no sooner, I'm looking at all the, the bank here, you can see how much overgrown trees and how awesome it looks. I just uh, figured, I just told Jason, I said, hey, let's go in a little tighter. We both started pitching in tight and uh, I think that's a five pounder. That is a Yolo Tech bass. Four Yolo Tech a we're fishing big, for. Big, big five pounder. I, Matt called a shot. He made, made, made two pitches and boom. Yeah, and yeah it wasn't, didn't take long. No, I was scrambling for the net and that's a great, great fish. And, and all I'm doing is uh, just flipping. It's my, my one of my favorite techniques. It's a lot of fun when one thumps it, but basically I just have a punch stop, which keeps the weight down on the bait using a 3 8 ounce weight and just a creature bait, a uh, five-aught hook and 20-pound line, so you can, you don't have to worry about breaking them off. You can stand on them. I, you said you were using an 80-pound braid. To yeah, flip. I was using an 80-pound braid because there's so much heavy trees here. This isn't where we're fishing right now. It's it's really not. It's not tulies. Don't think Havasu or don't think yeah. Saguaro. It's it's, it's, a it's These are big trees. <laughs> And I thought, well, if I get a big one hung up in there, I'm going to want to horse that thing out. But big fish and big trees, you need big line. And this is, like I said, one of my favorite techniques to do and uh, paid off for us. We need, we need another big one. It's Let's time it, to catch another big one. Big yellow tech fish. Are they close enough to hear you? All you got to do is do your laugh. Got do your laugh. Do I your laugh. It. Oh, it's there you go. It's a bass. It's a bass. I see it. I see it. I get see it. Really? Get That's a net. little one. <laughs> We're on the board, baby. Good job, good job. The spinning bass. <laughs> in them graphics wrap bass right there, folks. We're in it. We're in it to win it now, buddy. Look at that. See, they're spawning. Look. Look how big that fish is. Yeah, look is. at that belly. See the red? Oh, yeah. Look at its belly. Its He's belly almost, just bloated. Almost two and three quarter pounds red. <laughs> you do that, that scares Matt. Can you say teenage bass? All right, all right, I'm back in the business. What I'm throwing, folks, <laughs> is a persuader spinnerbait with the E-chip. It has a little pulsation in it, and especially in this muddier water, it's awesome. It's a half ounce, double willow leaf. It's got the smaller blades on it, which I love. And it's just a great looking bait. There's tilapia in here, there's threadfish shad, they got everything in here. So this lake is, we caught a catfish and not much longer, we caught a bass on it. So I'm gonna keep throwing it. Looking at Matt going, what are they oh. doing? Oh, I got a good one. Yeah? Dude, do I you got, got a good one, one on? Get the net. Oh, you do got one on. I thought you was kidding with me. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, God, hurry. Oh, oh, God, I lost him, dude. Oh, no. no. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that was a we good fish. We need that quicker. <sighs> that was a big fish. Oh, my gosh. I got to keep fishing and get it off my mind. All right. Oh my god. That's an eight pounder. Oh my gosh. Got it. Uh, yeah, the bush. Hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. Rock, nothing but I'm gonna show you how to get the net, brother. Hold on, you got a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to get the net. Look. <laughs> oh, he's pulling drag. All right, he's a big one. Come on, son. 
Don't you let him jump. Don't you lose him. Easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Come on, Andrew. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> oh, oh. Well, he's not, he's not the eight pounder that we wanted, but we'll you see how I call it. that? See how I call that? He's not the fish I'm catching, but we'll do. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that, right in the hey, right in the corner. That fish has been caught before, look. Oh yeah, look at that. Here, I'll let you get him out, I'll get the scale. There you go, buddy. Oop, you Good it. job. Now see, that's the ticket right there. He threw right up there in the brush pile and got it. But you know what the most important part about that whole scene was? Was how fast I ran to the net. <laughs> <laughs> Great all job. All right, buddy. all right. <sighs> Can't tell we've been fishing together a long time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Forever. I wouldn't change Since it. I love fishing with my buddy. I've had to deal with you year after year. Did you see the way I called that through? Through the bush? <laughs> yeah, that was Off awesome, rock. brother. <laughs> Nothing but lip. There he is. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, God. Go. Go. <laughs> That's how you net a fish. Nice job. Go oh, attack golly. bass right there. Woo! That's a monster. That's a monster. Look at that. Woo! Look at that yellow tech fish, brother. Big old belly. Oh, man. Pegged him. That is The freaks awesome. are coming out today. Look it. at that. Awesome job. Nice. Good job on the net. That's what I'm talking about, son. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, if you flip into a bush and you feel that thump and you set the hook and that comes out of it, let me tell you something. Hidden Lake, Arizona. It's the real deal. Wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the size of that. Look at the gut. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, son. Look out, look at him. Look at him. They're all looking. They're all looking, going, dang, they call They got him. their back to it. They're all they throwing. Throwing. Can you see what they're throwing? Got There's it. another one. Limit, but he ain't a big one. Boy, those are little fish. See, he's spawning. See yeah. how red his fins are? They're up there spawning. Another spinnerbait fish. It's not a giant fish, but, you know, I'm gonna keep throwing it because the wind's gonna try picking up a little bit. That'll be our first one we gotta cull, but at least we got a limit. <laughs> I know Matt's got, we watch Matt and, and Jason catch a couple of nice ones. So we got, we got some work to do to catch up, but we're gonna get them. day we're having at Hidden Lake. This is the hidden gem here in Arizona, folks. We, we had so much fun and there's so much more that we had to do another episode of us. We're not even done. This competition ain't over with yet, folks. Don't count anybody out. There's gonna be some fish caught. Make sure you make the popcorn for next week because I'll tell you what, you're gonna have some fun. Thanks for joining us on Fishing with Johnny Johnson. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs>